My Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So, Aries, you have the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. Clarify the three of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the eight of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft. Perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, this could all be work or business. However, you can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. Now Aries, listen, you can have your feelings hurt with something that's going on at work, yes? You know, you can tell me that you're hurt because someone had a third party at work, yes? Aries, you can tell me that you hurt them and you're willing to work things out here. You could be hurt, but maybe wanting to work things out yourself. Aries, you have the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So Aries, listen, could be having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here, or this involves children. Clarify the three of... I'm sorry, clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, listen, you can tell me something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, but you could also tell me that this is a breakup. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially with work or business, and maybe you're just wanting to leave to go back to a past employer here. However, Aries, you can tell me that you guys broke up, but you're wanting to reunite, wanting to work things out, or you broke up because someone from your past is in the picture or someone from their past is in the picture, a third party. Aries, you have the Ten of Wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag, something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Aries, listen, you're telling me you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, 10s are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that it's so burdensome that they betrayed you, Yes. You know, you could also tell me that you're just wanting to release this burden and be over it, okay? Maybe wanting to work things out here, Aries. Aries, you have temperance. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but the universe is cautioning you to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that you make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Sag, but you can tell me, hey, I just need to heal individually on my own. You can tell me that you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Very well could be some type of compromise and negotiations going on here. Also a need for you to be patient. Clarify temperance. For Aries, clarify temperance. For Aries, clarify temperance. For Aries, it is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Aries, listen, you can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us, move away to a place of peace and harmony together, you know, because you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. You can tell me that you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because you need to heal individually on your own. However, Aries, this could be work or business here, and you're telling me that because of some type of lack of compromise and negotiations, you're ready to just move on. Aries, you have the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. So Aries could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups. Using your intuition concerning something or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with the Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you can tell me that you're getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own, or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out, and reconcile. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. Clarify the star for Aries. It is clarified with the two of swords. 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things. Some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, listen, either you're indecisive here or you're blocking. Now Aries, you can tell me that you're using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning healing things, many things, working things out, but you're indecisive. Aries, you can tell me that, hey, maybe you're searching your emotions and you're indecisive on whether or not you need to heal individually on your own. Or Aries, you're telling me that, hey, I thought about it and I need to heal individually on my own and you may be blocking this person. You know, Aries, for some of you guys, it could also be some type of travel involved here, okay? Maybe dealing with work or business or these coins. Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 9th through February the 10th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.